if a girl has um, the instincts to gravitate towards sound, uh, sound is sound. With sound, you fabricate the music, but sound is the primary object. You see, um, because the piano is there, you play a note, that doesn't mean that there's music. That's a sound. That note is a pitch. It's just a specific sound. It's just when you start lacing one sound after the other and becoming or, or, or getting, uh, uh, fabricate a color or, or, or something of that sort, give it a structure, you know, put one thing after the other, that is how you make a piece. So therefore, if the tendency is to be attracted to sound, there might be many, many ways of expressing that interest without expressing it the way I express it. You see? Nowadays, you have composers that do sound environment pieces where there are installations where there are physical objects that move around and they create the music as they move around. Nowadays, there's a lot of composers or people involved in sound working with computers and creating the sound out of different programs in the computer. So that means that they don't need, per se, a specific person playing an instrument to create the piece. They create pieces on computer. The thing is, of course, if the interest is so tremendous that the girl wants to then give a piece to someone for that someone to read it or interpret it, then that's when the act of writing comes into the picture and trying to understand symbols and, and mathematical equations with the symbols and placement of the pitches in the music staff or, or uh, symbols that might not necessarily have a music staff, but they are symbols that are going to initiate or, or, or make someone create music by looking at the symbol. That, that type of score exists as well.